There was a tour guide doing an Everglades tour, and while he was doing so, he noticed that there was a massive Burmese python in the water. And here's what he did. At one point, he was literally wrapped around both of my arms. I was literally handcuffed to this snake. But the only thing in my head was just the thrash and bash. He eventually like, lift him up over my head and just start wailing him on the surface of the water and dunking him in the water hard. And that literally made him loosen up. Eventually, the snake got tired, and Owen was able to control it and remove it from the water. They kill our native species, and, I, and again, this is my home. I'd rather our native species be here. No, no, this guy is insane, and I can't believe he's not Turkish. You have to understand, he, they're on a canoe trip, yeah. right? And he's just a guide. He's not like some snake wrestler, okay? Right, right. He's a guide. He sees this giant boa, or python, and he's like, Whoa, and he jumps on top of it. Right. Who and, jumps on top of Python? And he said, quote, I grew up here, so this is pretty standard for the most part. Uh, wrong again, Bob. Not at all standard to jump on top of a 10-foot Python. It, it was 10 and a half feet. You imagine a basketball rim a little higher than that. Okay, at one point he said the python wrapped around one of his arms and started, he started losing circulation. Remember, he's holding the head of the python. If he lets go in any way, it's gonna bite him, right? <sighs> and then wrap around his body. And then he said at one point it wrapped around both of his arms like he was handcuffed, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, and how the hell did he even grab him? How does he jump on top of him and grab him in time before getting bit? And you did that because you wanted to protect your local species. No, he is. I mean, talk he, about an environmentalist. Jesus, and Lord mercy. He is an American hero. That's what's happening. American hero. So let me tell you a little bit about why he's so up in arms about the native species and everything. So, um, you know, back in the day, there was a python owner, some crazy irresponsible pet owner who decided, I don't want this python anymore, and they dumped it in the water. And of course, the python is not native to that area, so uh, that python ended up reproducing and uh, you know because there were other people who had pythons who did the same thing and as a result now there are 150,000 pythons in that area oh. and they're eating all of the like local animals like little mammals like rabbits and uh, what else do they mention a and humans if they jump on top of them so I wouldn't have gone in that direction look I I wouldn't, now that I know there's 150,000 pythons in that area, I wouldn't even go in the canoe ride in the first place, let alone jump out of the canoe and on top of a python. Yeah. Okay, man, that's, that's braver than a Turk. I, I got to give him an award for that, man, slash don't do it again. Because next time, there's a decent chance the python wins. There's something very, very sexy about what he did, though. Oh, yeah. So, like, brave and manly. Oh, really? So you wouldn't mind maybe his python <laughs> wrapping around. <so. laughs>